everyone welcome to so fantastic with siwa avanti i hope you guys are good i hope you guys have been keeping safe hope you've been wearing your masks it's good to have you here again and in today's video we are going to I made this video about princess dot seam lines or princess dots or princess style lines so these are style lines or seams that you have on shirts you can have them on um, dresses, tops, basically any garment at all. They're used to achieve better fit and a more tailored look. So I'll be showing you how to achieve the arm old princess, princess style line or seam or that seam, the shoulder princess that seam and also the neckline princess that seam. And I also um, stylized this seam in such a way that it w for a client's dress it went from the armhole down to some inches above the hip. So if you'd like to see how I achieved this, please do stick around and let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, so first I'm tracing my body's block on fresh pattern paper and note that I drafted this body's block using the Natalie Bray pattern and I am tracing my front and my back bodies well starting with the Amo princess that seam so the first thing to do is your underbust tightening so first you take your shoulder to underbust length on your bodies and then you square across next you measure the what you have on your under bust point so after you have measured subtract your actual your actual under bust measurement divided by four from that from what is on your pattern and then you will be sharing the figure you arrive at on both sides of your dart so this is necessary to achieve a better and curvier fit around the under bust then I measured about 8 cm down from my shoulder point and I ruled from the marked point to my under bust or point D please note that I'll be using I'll be using bust points and point D interchangeably they mean the same thing so this is where my princess that seam will be will start from so using that line as your reference now you will be used so i used a curved ruler a curved ruler to connect to my under bust tightening then down to my waist to to one leg of my waist that And I connected the other leg from the same underbust line, making sure that it followed the same direction. Cause this is a princess dart line, not not a panel dart. So I also extended my arm hole line by 0.5, just so that my pattern pieces are equal when it's time to sew. This is because sometimes you end up with one part shorter than the other one, especially usually the the piece with the side seam is usually shorter than the other one. So, in order to prevent this or to correct this, you can extend that line by 0.5 inch to 0.5 between 0.5 to 1 inch, but with Natalie Bray pattern, this hardly happens. And please, if you would like to see how to draft your bodies using the Natalie Bray pattern, please state that in the comment section and I'll make a video about that. So after you've extended that line, blend back into your arm hole, just the way I did in the video. So now I'm slashing the arm hole line, but if you notice, my pattern paper is squeezed. It's not laying flat. And this is because I have um, taped my, I've closed my shoulder line, my shoulder dart. So now I'm going, I am now going to reopen that dart 
go down to my waistline slash the middle that leg all the way to the bust point then close my shoulder that this just makes my paper lay flat and enables me to slash the point D easily so with the shoulder that closed uh, the next thing is to cut up my pieces and I indicate which part you will be will be the part you are going to be cutting on fold and the part that you're going to be cutting two pieces off so for the back pattern I marked the same HCM from SP along the ammo. The same HCM I marked for the front, I marked for the back. And then I connected from that mark to the mid to my mid waist that leg. Then after which I measured the length of my dart on that new line. And after measuring the length of my dart I connected to the to my other dart legs I just did this to move my dart to another point this is just what is that simple what what I just did is to move my dart to another point the next thing I did was to slash the middle of the middle dart leg all the way to the armhole and then I cut out I cut my dart away at the sides so next up is the shoulder the princess dart line a princess dart seam I'm always mixing it up so start by doing the your under bust tightening you should do your under bust tightening it just makes just makes your your garment look really nice and from the shoulder that connects to the first leg of your underbust tightening then down to your waist and repeat the same for the other for the other that leg too now if you are working on a blouse or a top that extends beyond your waist i just quickly want to show you how and you want a princess seam line all the way down so what you you you're going to do is to extend the middle waist that leg down to the hem you're working with and then measure 0 0.25 on the sides on both sides of that line and you connect back to your waist dart or just blend it back to your waist dart with a curve please with a slight curve you can also add fullness like add a go between the, the seam lines or you extend out however you want so that is what your pattern should look like when you're done so moving on to the neckline princess that seam you of course still start with your underbust tightening and please always remember to tighten your underbust mark the middle of your neckline and connect to your bust point also rule down also connect your underbust tightening like we've been doing all along so from the line that you took down to your to your bust point you now connect to your underbust tightening you put legs of your underbust tightening and then to your waist so I, I believe that we all get the drift by now so and then to cut you slash from the middle just like we've been doing slash up 
to point D or your bust point slash your middle that leg to point D and close to your shoulder that and cut out your that just the way I am doing on the screen and that is how to achieve the the neckline shoulder darts or shoulder styling so and lastly to stylize your princess that seam first you extend your bodies to the length of your dress or use your dress pattern the upper bodies here I have done an arm all princess that and so I've done my tightening and all of that you know all of this stuff that by now you are a pro at doing <laughs> I want to believe after watching this video and so for the lower part that's the skirt part I came up from the hip line by 1.5 inches and this is by no means a standard you can do whatever looks good to you whatever you like you can take it wherever you like or just whatever looks good then I rolled from the mid that leg to that 1.5 inch mark and just like I did for the back bodies I moved my dart to my waist dart to this line then I blended all the pointy edges so I repeated the same steps for the back bodies I just made sure that I went up by the same number of inches so that is aligned at the sides when I joined the sides I went up with 1.5 extended my my mid that leg to the 1.5 mark and then I moved my dart to that line after drafting this um, this dress pattern I was kind of not satisfied with how we looked you know I thought it was too high so I decided to now go down from my hip line by two inches and I repeated the same step and I liked this a, a lot more you know it looked more that like what I had in mind and you don't have to make you don't have to restrict yourself to a just a slant line you can curve the line that you want to move your dart to a little it's totally up to you whatever you do is fine it's just to get the gist and have an idea of how to achieve this and you're good thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video from the beginning to the end i'm so grateful and i hope that this helps you with your sewing project i hope this will be useful to you and if you make any of if you make anything using the method that i have shared in this video please let me know in the comment section on how that went and also please like share subscribe for more sewing videos and thanks again i'll see you in the next